All right, you guys, in this video, I'm going to quickly go over the uh, the settings for the perfect entry trading system. That way, I know a lot of you guys that are brand new to the system, it may look a little cluttered, but we're going to we're gonna get you all caught up to speed. That way, um, we can get rid of the clutterness and you can get back to uh, trading with ease, right? We don't want too much things on the computer to confuse us. Even though we have a large repertoire of tools, uh, some of these tools can be used by themselves, but once you combine them, you will have... Um, more confidence or more confirmation on the trade. So the first tool that we're going to go over is the session key. This is the session key. So when you pull the session key onto your chart, it should look similar to this. Now, what this is, I'm going to kind of break down some of the things that you see right now. So the session key is a zone, right? We have a great zone on, on NQ. We caught this. Uh, we caught this at 12 noon. It's 1235. So this is the zone. When you see it doing this, that means the session key zone is being populated. This zone can be uh, changed per hour. So the goal with the session key tool is to find, depending on what time of day you trade, depending on where you are in the world, um, everybody's trading schedule may be different. So with this tool, it will give you a chance to find a trade on every single hour of the trading day. All you will have to do is tr change this zone but before we can get there let's get to the settings so when you pull it up on the chart it should look like this right so you have the zone which is this zone here when the zone is populated it does not change for that 24-hour period so you can use that zone as long as you want right so for that 24-hour period so you notice how it was it was populating then it created the zone so for that 24-hour period you will notice that you can use the zone for support and resistance notice it breaks the zone comes back to the zone, reacts to the top of the zone. If you didn't catch the first initial buy, if it's already above the zone and it comes back to the zone, this is um, what we will say demand, right? Or supply and demand. We also have the supply and demand tools as well. So <clears throat> with this, it also comes with your entry, which will be this orange line, right? The orange line is your entry. You will also have your stop loss, which will be 10 pips below the zone. Right. And then you have your take profit one, take profit two and take profit three. Now, um, and once you add all of the other tools, a lot of this may become confusing. So all I really use is the zone itself. And I also have the take profit one, two and three. I'll just have the line. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the background to make it a little bit more cleaner. So you go to the session key. Your inputs, the opening hour. This opening hour is where you will change the zone depending on what hour it is. So right now, 10 opening hour is 12 noon. For some reason, when we coded it, I don't know why it's like that. Um, Hopefully in the near future, we can get it fixed. That way it'll be less confusing. But just for instance, if you was to put zero, zero would mean 12 midnight, right? So if I put zero, then the zone changes not to 12 midnight, the zone will be actually 2 a.m. For some reason, it's two hours behind. <laughs> but once you get it, once you get used to it, all you really have to do is just kind of scroll. That way you can see where the zones are for each opening hour. We go back to 10, which is 12 noon. Your high and low gap, if you have it at one, the zone will be a little bit more conservative. Me. I like tight stop losses, so I put my gap at zero. Um, that all depends on the trader. If you want to be more conservative, you can use one. Um, for a tighter stop, you can use zero. Everything else. Now, your stop pips, when you first add it on the chart, it may say 100 because these tools can also be used for Forex. Hint, hint. So if you're using this tool for futures, you can also utilize these tools if you're still trading Forex. So you're getting, um, you're actually able to use it on all markets, not only just forex and futures. You can also use the crypto as well. So, um, if you all if you see it on the chart and it has a zero, it it will probably look like this, which is too big. The zones are way too big. So all you have to do is take off a zero, because these are calculated as points right here instead of pips. So you take away the zero. Let's see. Yep, that's it. So you have 10 points, 25 points, 50 points, and 100 points. 
You can enable the take profit. You can enable the alerts. If you, if you want to enable take profit one, two, or three, it will alert you when it hits your take profit. So if you have your, your Zoom, I mean, your uh, trading view, and you wanted to send you alerts, it will send you alerts when the market breaks the zone, and it will then give you alert for the entry, take profit one, two, and three, and your stop loss. Whenever it hits, you take profit one, two, and three, stop loss, it will also send you an alert. This is where our alert system is created in the Telegram Signals channel. <clears throat> so you can add your alerts for your custom alerts as well if you want to, or you can just simply follow the signals in the group. Now, once you have that set up, you'll go to style. Everything here will be selected, of course, in the default settings. So to get rid of, see, here's an alert. Here's another alert for gold. We have a buy on gold. Um, so if you want to get rid of the background, all you have to do is get rid of the red background, which is your stop loss, which is this zone here. You get rid of that. And the take profit stop, uh, background is green here. You get rid of that. And then all you have is the lines. You can still keep the lines, but you just got rid of the background. Now, if you want to change your zone, um, in the training videos I sent, I show, or in the trading PDF, it shows you where to set up your zone for your New York session, your London session, and your Asian session. So if you have the session key for all three sessions on your chart, you will have session key, one of them for New York, you will add another session key, one of them for London, or add another session key, one of them for the Asian session, and all you have to do is just change the color of the zone right here. Me, I had mine to black. You can change your color to whatever you want, depending on what your background is, what your color scheme is on your trading view. You can design it however you see fit. Me, I don't utilize all three sessions because I utilize what's called the floating uh, session key tool. I just change the hour on one. So instead of having all three of them up there, unless you want to see those zones being played out in a 24 hour period, because there are times where you will have the New York session key zone break for a buy. And then the London session key zone may be all the way up here. It'll break for a sale and it'll come all the way back down to your New York session zone. That is if you have all three zones. It doesn't work like that all of the time, but in some cases, the New York session, London session, and the Asian session coincide with each other during the 24 hour period. So if you wanna have all three at one time, all I suggest is just change the background color for each session. That way you know your red background will be a New York session if you want it to be red, your yellow background, maybe your London session if you want it to be yellow, so forth and so on. That way you'll know exactly where the zones are um, in the 24 hour period. Me, myself, I don't want that many zones on the chart being that we will be using uh the range filter and also we'll use the fluid supply and demand zone you will notice where the zones are utilizing this tool here so you don't necessarily have to have three different session key tools all you have to do is just have one and when you want to change the zone you just come here to change the zone this is now opening hour 11 which is 1 p.m eastern standard time so you notice right now we're in the middle of that hour zone. So at 1 p.m., we're gonna get the zone. And then from there, we'll just wait for it to break. If it breaks to the downside, we take the sell. If it breaks to the upside, we take the buy. Now you wanna make sure that depending on what time frame you are in, if you want a five minute time frame and it breaks below it, you wanna make sure that five minute candle closes because the first three minutes of that five minute candle may come out the zone and you might try to jump in quickly but then the next two minutes of that five minute candle may pull back into the zone and then you're stuck in a trap. So you wanna make sure that it breaks above the zone. Notice this buy candle broke above the zone. This is a good buy. Here's your entry. It went straight into profit, came back to the zone, broke the entry again, retested the entry, went to take profit too. <clears throat> so these zones are very powerful. Now that's the session key. The next tool is the entry optimizer let's take off the session key the entry optimizer you want it to be clean as possible now i notice in some cases um if you first if you put it up here at first um your plots may look similar to this which is fine it's okay it is more of an indication you will know 
just from a visual standpoint, if you see green in the background, you're in biased territory. If you see red and you're in the red background, you're in seller's territory. So, but once you understand the colors or once you understand the schematics of how the tool works, you don't necessarily have to have those colors. So let's take the background colors off. And all you really need is the break for the sale and the break for the buy. And you want to keep the lines because sometimes these lines can be used as support or resistance. So that's all you will change is take off the background colors and the arrow lines. These are the arrow lines that you will see on your chart. You just take those off. These are the colors that you may see on your chart. You can take those off as well. Now, if you want the colors to stay on the chart, you're more than welcome to do so. You just I just didn't want you guys to be over cluttered with too much noise on the chart. So if you wanted to have it as clean as possible, these are the four that you want to take off. Now your inputs, your inputs can be customized depending on the style of trading. This is my default settings here. So if you want to follow the settings that we're currently using, you can follow these settings here. Um, I believe these settings are in the PDF. All of the things that I'm going over is in the PDF. We also have a walkthrough of the PDF. <laughs> and the people that may know me, I get a little long-winded, so... Uh, just bear with me. Uh, I do have a passion for 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 teaching and especially teaching how to trade. So I may get a little bit long winded in these sessions. I, even if we do the live session, we may have a live session and we may up there be up there for hours. So uh, just brace brace yourself. Bear with me. Um, but I do want you guys to get a full understanding of how to utilize these tools, how to set them up correctly. That way, you can have a full understanding of how to use these tools in the market. So with the entry optimizer, these are the settings that I use. Um, you can screenshot it. I believe, like I said, these settings are in the PDF. All you have to do is simply follow the PDF. May, may, matter of fact, let me pull up the PDF so you guys can see the PDF itself. If you haven't seen the PDF, I did see the, see the videos. Um, I don't expect you guys to watch the videos all at one time. But here is our trading PDF. So it gives you the confirmation of the session key. The first confirmation is the break above. Now, also know we have to add the Bogan effect, which is very, very important. I do not want you guys to steer away from utilizing the ultimate scalper strategy. Shout out to my guy, Jay. We have been pit bros for years now. Um, we've grown with each other. We've learned with each other. We've taken some L's with each other. We've also won together. So make sure that you're implementing the Bogan effect and the ultimate scalper strategy and then utilizing the pet system as extra confirmation. So we do have how to set it up all in the PDF, taking off the plot backgrounds. All of this is in the PDF. The golden key is the exact same thing as the session key. Only difference with the golden key, you cannot change the zone. The golden key was specifically made for gold. But we've noticed that you can utilize the golden key for every asset as well. The zone is populated at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time each trading day. So the golden key and the session key is the exact same thing. Only thing different is the golden key. You cannot change the opening hour. That's the only difference. And here you have uh, your entry optimizer. I'm going to change the settings. I'm going to go through and change these settings to the current settings that I have. Um, I'm also sending those settings in the group, so you have them. And then here you go with the unselecting of the plots so that your trading view. Now, this is a screenshot of utilizing the Asian, the Golden Key, the London, and the New York, and you also have the Entry Optimizer included. So this will be the full spectrum of the PET system if you're using the Session Key all three different times. So you use the Session Key for Asian, you got the golden key tool, you use the session key for London, and you use the session key for New York. And notice the Asian called the sale, golden key called the sale, London called the sale, New York session called the sale. So this was a beautiful trading day utilizing these tools. You could have caught the sale early through Asian, golden key confirmed that the sale continues, London session confirmed that the sale continues, you wake up heavily in the profit, and then New York session right after opening bell it continued to sell as well. So 
I don't want to hold you guys too long in this video. I just wanted to make sure that uh, you guys get a better understanding of the tools. Entry Optimizer, this is the settings that I'm currently using here. So you guys can hit screenshot this and use this to your liking. If you want, you can always customize it to just see what fits better for you. The lower the ATR ultim uh, multiplier, the tighter it gets. The tighter it gets. But you don't want any fake out. So you want to give yourself enough room to make sure that if it does call a signal, it is an official sale. There's a buy. There's a sale. There's the buy. Here's one instance where you might have got caught in the trap. It's not going to be 100%. So you just want to make sure that if you are getting caught in the sale, your stop loss is above the candle that sold or the actual ATR. Here you quote a buy. If you're in a buy, if you're in a buy, your stop loss will be below the ATR because if it breaks the ATR, then you know you're in seller's territory. Right? So if it starts to sell, this is where you will utilize the Bogan effect because this stop loss is way too high. So you would just wait for the Bogan effect. Let's pull it up real quick. To break, oh, is that the right one? All right, so here you have the Bogan effect. You also have, the different tools that'll give you when to get out of the trade. So if you're in the sale, you can utilize this tool here. If it crosses, that's when you know to get out of the trade. You have this tool here. If it crosses, you know to get out of the trade. If it's still crossing all the tools, you should be out of the trade by now because <laughs> you're getting back to break even. So um, we utilize the tools and congruence for each other. We're going to go over a full spectrum of the full confirmations of utilizing all of the tools that we have in the system when it comes to the Bogan effect and a perfect entry trading system. There is a lot of tools. You don't have to use them all at one time. You do not have to use them all at one time. It is just for added confirmations, right? <clears throat> so if you're following the trade based off of the zone, this is why the session key zone is very important because you don't have to chase the market. All you have to do is wait at the top of the hour, at the top of the hour of each day, you have a new hour candle. What we're doing in the futures market is taking advantage of that hour candle. So when you get a new zone, this is a new hour candle, you notice it's breaking. It breaks above, you take the buy. Where does it stop? It comes back. So if you're in the buy, where do you get out of the trade? Here's your Bogan effect tool here. Once it crosses, you can get out of the trade here. That's your first confirmation to get out of the trade. Entry optimizer. Here's another confirmation to get out of the trade. Now, do you want to chase the trade back down? That is totally up to the trader. I wouldn't advise it, right? Simply go based off of the tool. So if you want to buy, you're in buyer's territory, you're buying from the zone. So if you didn't catch the first initial buy, be patient, folks. Patience and discipline is key. Wait for it to get back to the zone. Here is your optimal entry for another buy, right? If it crosses back above Bogan effect, it's crossing above the entry optimizer again. Here's your entry. You take the buy again. Your optimal buy will be in the zone. So if you're taking the buy from the zone, your stop loss is right below the zone and you catch this bad boy all the way up or as, as far as your stop loss will permit you to. Now here you have another tool from the, from the ultimate scalper strategy and the Bogan effect. You have your point of interest, which is your supply. Notice the price breaks all the way below the zone. This is a sale. You can take the sale, right? But if you're not in the market and you're noticing the market is coming back to an area of interest, this is where your market analysis comes into play. You can take the sale from the high. You want to take a sale from the high. You want to take the buys from the lowest part possible. Where do you know when to buy? The zones will tell you when to buy. You have demand zones, you have supply zones, and then um, the blessing in the group, we have our session key zone. So if it's above the zone, you know to buy. Where do you buy? You don't wanna buy way up here chasing the market. You want to wait until the market comes back to an area of interest, which is right here, and you take the buy, right? If you're not in the sale, you want to take the sale from an area 
of interest. An area of interest would be either the zone, but once you notice it breaks above the zone, you can either take the buy again, breaks the ATR, you can take this buy. If not, if you're right here and you're looking to trade, I would not be trading a buy because you're too late. If I was interested in a trade right now, my only interest would be a sale based off of the supply. So if I'm selling from here, my stop loss will be right above the last candle that did not break supply. So your stop loss will be above your supply and you're expecting price to go down. That's if it does, right? So if you're unsure, all you have to do is 12.54. We're gonna wait. We're going to wait until one o'clock. That way, when the zone is populated, you can then take the trade. So what I'm gonna do is for this zone, I'm gonna wait now. I wasn't gonna, I didn't wanna hold you off for too long, but being that we're right, we're close to the one o'clock zone. I'm gonna just wait for one o'clock and we're gonna do this live and we're going to see what happens. That way you can see it in live action. So let's see, let's set up. We wanna set up, we got a supply here. Range filter. We got our range filter. Notice that buy the range filter. Notice the buy from the entry optimizer. You're back above the zone. Take the buy. That was a beautiful buy right here out of the zone. Based on the range filter and the entry optimizer, you're above the session key zone again. You can take that buy. That was a, that was a beautiful buy. All for market analysis. Once you get uh, a better understanding, um, especially if you already have an understanding of the market, and the technicals and everything like that. Once you understand the tools, it's going to make it very easy for you to find optimal setups. You just have to be disciplined and patient and wait for the setup. The setup is not going to reveal itself every minute of the day. You just have to be patient and wait. Just like here, you got your you got your um, range filter with the buy. It crosses over your CTI, the Bogan effect. It crossed the entry optimizer. It's coming from out of the zone. I'm buying right here. It's easy buy. Now, where do you stop? You got your, it, it took you out here. If your stop loss is the CTI from the Bogan effect, it'll stop you here. The more conservative stop loss is the entry optimizer. Notice the entry optimizer kept you in the trade for a little bit longer until it did a stop hunt. That's a stop hunt, then it pulled to supply. It is in, this is called accumulation. This uh, accumulation is being formed right here. So if we can get a rejection from the supply zone, it's 1256, and then at one o'clock, if we start to get the sale, then we know this supply zone is, is, is very strong and we can take the sale back down. So we'll wait until one o'clock, that way I can do this live with you guys and we can see what we can find. <clears throat> but just make sure, because I'm noticing a lot of you guys are unfamiliar with the settings and the tools and how to do it. Um, the first, uh, first I will advise to go through the PDF. That's why we created it. I know it's a lot, especially if you're brand new to this, if you're brand new to futures, if you're brand new to trading view, I do not want to overwhelm you. We are here to answer any questions that you may have, but for the most part, a lot of the stuff, um, that you may have a question of, especially when it comes to the settings is in the PDF, how to utilize the tool is in the PDF. It is a, a brief summary. I know Going into more detail will help you guys a lot more. So we're going to be doing lives. We're going to be doing more training videos. We're going to, I'm going to be in the group. So if you have any questions in the group, you can ask either me or Jay or the counterparts that we have that will be helping as support inside of the group. We don't want you guys to be unsure. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. You can either message me, Jay, or in the group, and we will help you as much as we can. And if we can't help you within the group, if we have to do a live session, then we will do so. <laughs> it's 12.58. We got two minutes. So what I do to set up, when it gets around 12.58, I go to the session key. And we're going to do this on multiple pairs. So we got NQ. I got gold over here. Notice that gold trade. I was in this gold buy. must have took me out. That was a beautiful buy for gold. Notice I have these on a the five-second chart. Um, I would not advise that unless you are very familiar with the chart and how to use the tools. But... If you understand the market, um, rest assured, the market is the same on every single time frame. A, a, a one hour time frame, a five minute or a five second chart, market analysis and the technicals still the same. 
it's just the lower the time frame, the faster the market moves, and um ultimately the lower the excuse me, the lower the zones may be. But you can trade this bad boy off a of five, 15 second time frame. Notice the buy where it was this little small back line. This is the zone. Being that we're on a lower time frame, the zone is small, but we're above the zone. We're buying. We're buying. There's your entry right there. Where do you come out of the trade? Bam, that bad boy right there. Or when it breaks the uh the bogan effect, however you see fit, you start to get out the trade. Notice where it's coming back to. Back to the zone. So if it was buying the entire time and it comes all the way back here, if I'm not in the buy, I don't want to buy way up here. <laughs> if I'm not in the buy, if I'm interested in the buy, where do I buy? I buy at demand or from the zone. This is demand. It's one o'clock. So let's go ahead and change these zones. We're looking at Nas right now. Let's go to a one minute time frame, the lower the time frame. Looks like it's, it's trying to buy. The supply zone is very important, though. You want to break that supply zone. Show you guys in a lower time frame what it's looking like. If it breaks this supply zone here, I will be interested in the buy. See what's going on here. Oh, baby. It looks like it wants to, but it doesn't. Okay, hold on. Hold on, you guys. We can't do it on this. All right. Here, let's do gold real quick. Let's set up gold. Gold is one hour difference. You may notice. You may notice that. Gold is selling, right? So gold is selling. Let's pull up. Let's see if we can take a trade for you guys. Oh, I was in the buy. I should have closed. I was in the buy. But being that I was training, I forgot to move my stop loss. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I was having a profit on that. That's cool, though. Um it's buying you got to buy from the range filter it broke it bounced from 12 p.m zone but we're going to change it to one we're going to change it to one to see what we get Nas looks like it's buying so let's go ahead and take this trade on Nas for the buy oh now, if you want to be conservative, notice here, though, it is very, you got your entry optimizer. It didn't break the entry optimizer yet. So, but the natural confirmations, me, I'm a little risky. I want you guys to follow you. I want you guys to follow the confirmations to the T, right? So in here, we have a buy from a range. There it goes. That's the buy we was looking for. Okay. So we got the range filter buy, uh, session key buy, entry optimizer is now buying. You want to set your parameters. Boom, get into the buy. Stop loss will be below the zone. Notice we're already in profit that fast. <clears throat> now, if you want to trade, if you don't want to trade the NASDAQ, I will highly suggest trade the MNQ. But this is like a three, four hundred dollar stop loss. Trade the MNQ. That way it doesn't wreck your nerves. We're getting to supply. There's an easy trade to protect it. And there you go. We did that live. That's the supply zone. It may, it may not break that supply zone. So try to protect as many profits as you can. If it does, you're in smooth sailing, baby. It's up $135, 140 in seconds. So that was an example of how to take the trade. Uh, initially, I would have put two in. I would have one that I scout just in case it does that and it continue more and continue on like it did. <laughs> I would usually have two trades in. That way I can ride one and scout the other. But that was a live um, example of how to take the trade. If I had stuck into the trade, we'll probably be up three, four hundred dollars right now. All right, so here's another one. Let's take this real quick. I'm going to close it. Oh, I shouldn't close it. I was already in the buy. Let's go ahead and take this buy. And I'm going to put this buy in the chart, in the chat, so you guys can catch it with your boy. Let's get it. I'll see you guys in the next video.